Hello, hello, and welcome back to Species Spotlight. This week, we are going to focus on a mammal that can run up to 18 miles per hour, the eastern cottontail. Eastern cottontails are one of the most common rabbit species in North America. They are found from southern Canada to South America, while populating most of the eastern U.S. and parts of New Mexico and Arizona. Eastern cottontails have two different fur coats each year. In the summer, they typically have short brown fur with a white belly, while in the winter, their fur becomes longer and gray to blend in with their habitats. All year long, the underside of their short tail is white, which is where the cottontail got its name from. Adults can grow up to 15 to 18 inches long and will weigh around one and a half to three pounds. Since they are highly preyed upon by other predators, they usually only live to be about three years old. Eastern cottontails are crepuscular or nocturnal animals with a herbivorous diet. As the seasons change, so does their food sources. Throughout the summer, eastern cottontails feed on many types of grasses, clover, wild strawberries, and dandelion. As the winter approaches and the leafy greens disappear, cottontails switch their diet to twigs, buds, and even bark of woody vegetation. When looking at an eastern cottontail, you will notice their very large ears and eyes located on the sides of their head. Cottontails have almost a 360 degree vision and are able to see behind them, with their one blind spot located right in front of their nose. As herbivores, they do not need to hunt for food, but need to watch all their surroundings for predators such as owls, hawks, foxes, and even coyotes. Their ears are also very helpful in detecting predators. Hearing an incoming predator before they get close enough to attack is the primary defense mechanism of cottontail rabbits. When encountered by a predator, cottontails can run up to 18 miles per hour in a zigzag pattern thanks to their powerful hind legs. Other defenses include moving low to the ground with their ears laid back to avoid detection, or freezing up and staying motionless in hopes of blending in with their environment. You can see eastern cottontails year-round since they do not hibernate during the winter. As February approaches, cottontail mating season begins. Their breeding season lasts through September, with female cottontails capable of having one to seven litters per year. Most females will only have three to four per season, with an average of five babies each brood. Male cottontails can mate with multiple females, making them polygamous animals. Females will construct a nest, which is practically a shallow hole dug in soft soil that is lined with fur and other soft vegetation. Babies can move out of their nest at 12 days old, and by four weeks, they are totally independent. Although mating season is coming to an end and cold weather is upon us, you can still find eastern cottontails foraging throughout our parks year-round. Thanks for tuning in.